forward interlocking pattern is a continuous suture pattern that's uh, classically used for um, standing uh, abdominal surgery uh, for skin closure in cattle. It's also used sometimes by practitioners closing a Caslix um, procedure where you need to uh, use a continuous suture pattern and one that distributes evenly tension along the entire suture layer. And so it's continuous in nature. And the way in this course that we teach to uh, begin continuous suture patterns is to perform a simple uh, interrupted um, suture bite and then tie. And so this is the way I would recommend uh, beginning the suture patterns of many of the continuous sutures that we will be doing in this course. Now, obviously I'm just putting one uh, square knot to complete this uh, simple interrupted suture. Now, you can do this um, forward interlocking pattern alone. Uh, it's much easier to do with an assistant to maintain um, tension on the uh, residual suture here. And so I'm going to use an assistant here just for uh, demonstration purposes. And so now the, the pattern Hopefully it doesn't come up, but the pattern is done by uh, continuously um, performing simple interrupted bites. But you can see I'm coming inside the loop of my suture. So as that's pulled down, you can see now that there's going to be very even distribution of tension on the suture line. Once again, notice that each bite comes inside the loop of suture being held by my surgical assistant. You can see here that um, very nice, e even t uh, tension on uh, both sides of the, the incision. Okay. And to end this, we're going to end it in a backhand suture bite. And we're going to tie back to the loop. Thus finishing the classically considered Ford interlocking pattern.